So, Sienna, I, I saw you as one of the most um, vibrating female satirists in Africa right now. Um, what is the role of women in satire, on the one side as satirists themselves, and then on the other hand as objects of satire? I, I think I might have like a, maybe a bit of an unpopular opinion on the role of satire in terms of um, changing the status quo, because I think satire, by, I think by definition, is about um, challenging the overwhelming powers that be and the messaging that they send out to people by mocking it and sending an idea to its farthest point of ridiculousness, which is what I really enjoy doing uh, when I do anything to do with satire. And with women, I mean, I, I really do think, when I used to write more like a feminist satire, it was very much from the lens of mocking um, ideas about culture and dating and women that people had. I thought that was very funny, but I don't, I'm, I'm still not yet sure if people would get the jokes. I think that's the problem when you come um, to female being the, the subject of a satirical piece or anything that has to do with culture and not politics where like clearly there's a right and a wrong, you know, clearly this is ridiculous and this isn't ridiculous. But when it comes to the compli complexities of culture all over the world, um, when you try to like ridicule some aspect of it, which is um, which some people may not think is unfair, which a lot of women might think is not fair, it, it becomes difficult to not seem as if you're propagating that idea. So if you're mocking, for example, people saying that um, women can either be whores or, you know, mothers or whatever, um, I did, I, you know, you try and say this joke this way, but pe some people are like, yeah, you're right. <laughs> like, and they don't get that it's like a joke or it's satire. So that's the thing that I've experienced. So I've kind of ventured away from it a little bit just because we don't all share the same feminist principles. So I think for us to try to move forward to like pro-women satire, we need to have a pro-women Uh, society, that's what I think. I don't think it's just a matter of telling cartoonists to chill. They represent what people think, or they represent what people think is acceptable or unacceptable. So it's just a matter of changing society before you can change that. There's this whole talk about zero rating, internet access. Um, where do you see the obstacles and where do you see maybe the, the potentials of zero rating for work like you're doing? So the problem with that is it's very limiting, I think. I think it's great to have free internet. I hate paying for internet. I think everyone hates it. Uh, nothing makes me happier than free Wi-Fi. But um, it's extremely limiting. That's not my experience of the internet. I spend a lot of time on Twitter, yes. I spend too much time on Facebook, yes. But I spend a, a lot of other time, you know, watching videos on several platforms about cooking or about um, some interesting story that I want to r read more about. So research, you know, um, teaching myself some skill or trying to check the sources of some information. There's so much other things to use the internet for, uh, for coding, for whatever, that if you do do the zero rating, what you are telling people, I think, who are experiencing internet through these or through this system is that this is all the, is, there is to the internet. So the power and the potential of changing the world that the internet has or changing people's mindsets becomes very difficult. And of course, and the obvious answer is also these platforms are very easy to manipulate. I mean, every month there's some story that breaks because Facebook was manipulating the emotions of nine million people or whatever, and it's kind of not okay. Uh, but what can we do if we're all trapped on this platform and if you, and you introduce a new generation of people in developing countries to the internet claiming that it's Facebook and that's it? We're going to like, it's going to negate the whole purpose of free speech, I think.